Okay, this is solving systems using multiplication and addition. This is an elimination, but the only difference here is that you're going to eliminate using multiplication. This means that if they give you the term 2x and x, and you want to eliminate those, you now have to come up with a number that you can multiply by in the second equation to cancel these out. So if this is 2x, you're going to want the bottom equation to be negative 2x. That's what cancels this out. So another an example would be if this was 5y and they gave you 2y, if you wanted to cancel those out, you would have to use the greatest common multiple between these two, which would be 10. And you would want one of them to be positive 10 and one of them to be negative 10. Once you have one positive and one negative, you can cancel those out. So in order to cancel these out, I would have to make this one into a positive 10. So I'd multiply the top by 2. And to make the bottom negative 10, I would have to multiply the bottom by negative 5. So all you're doing is trying to find a number that you can multiply the term by in order to eliminate it or to cancel it out or to make it equal zero. Say your equations line up and you have 2y and negative 3y. In order to cancel these out, they both have to be 6y and negative 6y. That's the only way that these are going to cancel out. And to do that, you'd have to multiply the bottom by 2 and the top by 3. That's what would give you your 6y, and this is what would give you your negative 6y. Okay, once you cancel these out, then you can go on with your regular elimination method. Let's do some examples. Okay, for number one, it says state the best number to be multiplied by. So for number one, if you look at the x column and the y column, it would be easier to cancel out the x column because you would only have to multiply by three. But if we multiply the x by 3 in order to call, cancel out the columns, we would also have to multiply everything in the equation by 3. So you do 3 times x, and then you do 3 times negative 2y, which would be negative 6y, and 3 times 4, which would be 12. And we don't have to do anything to the bottom equation because the whole purpose was just to find something we can multiply it by so that we can cancel out one of these. So now the x's cancel out. <laughs>